current recycling craze has made me feel a bit guilty about all those years I never recycled anything except beer and my own cooking. So this week on Handyman Corner, I'm taking on a major recycling project. Now I know you're supposed to separate out your pop cans and your newspapers and your plastics and everything, but that's pretty wussy small potatoes, you ask me. I want to do something that's a little more impressive. I'm going to recycle something big. I'm thinking, <laughs> how about a city bus? Hey, take a look at that. How many pop cans is this one worth? I got this unit for 50 bucks. 50 bucks. You know, oh yeah, a lot of parts are missing and it doesn't run too good. But 50 bucks? Boy, our society's values are all screwed up. <laughs> now, you can make anything out of this. You could make a... Well, you're really only limited by your own imagination. Now, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn this thing into a cigarette car. Now, you know they got those cigarette boats where the driver sits at the very back and then the hood goes way out in front of them? I'm going to make the version of that for the road. Yeah, I've already got the back seat to drive from, and I got the big long hood, except right now it's a roof. <laughs> I had to switch to the saws all there because I cut through the torch, but uh, I got her all set. She's pretty much pretty much done now. Just got to cut uh, cut now above the windows and then drop that whole roof down. That's going to be my hood, and then I'm done. That's it. Well, no, I got to hook up the hook up the steering at the back, and then and then the, and then the brake and the gas and uh, and the clutch standard, and then the transmission, and then the turn signals. Get her safety. That's a wrap. The world's first cigarette car. She a beauty or what? Not much on seating, but you can't beat her for leg room. <laughs> kind of looks like a Batmobile or something. Doesn't it? I could be a superhero. Na 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 bus boy. <laughs> well, let's take her for a spin before they tighten up the transportation laws. This isn't a streetcar named Desire. It's a bus called Horse. 